The fairies may search high and low to find the gems and take them home, but I will send my goblin guards to make the fairies' mission hard. It's the Rainbow Magic Books. The Rainbow Magic Books were written by Daisy Meadows and illustrated by Georgie Ripper. They are published by Orchard Books. I read Amy the Amethyst Fairy because I like amethysts. Here is one. Anyway, there are six other Jewel Fairy books and many other Rainbow Magic books, but I'm going to talk about this one. Amy the Amethyst Fairy is about Kirsty Tate and Rachel Walker, two young girls who are friends with fairies. Every day, Kirsty and Rachel help the fairies with the problems in Fairyland, which are normally caused by Jack Frost and his goblins. One day, the girls visit Tippington Manor, which has an adventure playground outside built around a large treehouse. There, they meet Amy the Amethyst Fairy and help her to get back her magic amethyst from Jack Frost's goblins. Amy the Amethyst Fairy is a chapter book and it is for early readers, which means the words and stories are not difficult. Like The Pony Mad Princess, this book is aimed at girls, I suppose, although if you change the cover and called it The Smelly Green Goblins Steal a Magic Purple Rock, I think boys would read it too. The point is, whether you're a boy or a girl, you can read it if you want to. Although this is one book out of seven, you can read them in any order. There is a story so far part at the beginning, and there are no numbers on the side. I quite liked this book. It is action-packed and fast-moving. I really didn't know whether Amy would get her amethyst back or not. Kirsty and Rachel are interesting characters, and the setting, Tippington Manor, sounds really fun and exciting. It's great that there are lots more books in the series, and I really mean lots more, because it's nice to spend time with characters that you like and read about adventures that are different each time, but are also quite familiar. Here are my ratings. The English is very easy, and the story is also very easy to follow. There are lots more books in the series, and they are a good mix of serious and funny. Here's an extract. Now you see it, now you don't. It's gone, Rachel said in amazement. She peered out across the safety net, but there was no sign of the bridge they had just crossed. Do you think it could be fairy magic? Kirsty smiled. Maybe one of the magic jewels is nearby, she suggested. Doesn't one of them control appearing and disappearing magic? Yes, Rachel agreed excitedly. Amy's amethyst. Maybe it's in the treehouse. If it is, we'll have to be on the lookout for goblins, Kirsty reminded her. Rachel nodded. I don't know how I'm going to get my ribbon back, she sighed, staring at the ribbon which was still dangling from the branch. I can't reach it without the bridge. Suddenly her eyes widened in horror. Kirsty, however are we going to get down again? That bridge led to the ladder. Don't worry, Kirsty replied. She turned and pointed to the second bridge from the treehouse door, which stretched away in the opposite direction. After we've searched the treehouse, we'll go that way. Then we can walk around the outer circle of bridges and get back to the ladder again. Oh yes, Rachel agreed, looking relieved. Of course we can. Rachel, Kirsty, sang out a silvery voice. The girls spun round at the sound of the sweet, clear voice to see a tiny fairy swinging from Rachel's ribbon and waving at them. She wore dark purple trousers with a lilac smock top and dainty lilac shoes. Her wand was a glittering mauve and she wore her light brown curly hair tied up in a ponytail decorated with three purple flowers. It's Amy the Amethyst Fairy, Kirsty gasped. Amy freed Rachel's ribbon from the branch, then smiling all over her face, she floated gracefully down towards the girls, the pink ribbon streaming out behind her like a banner. I'm so glad you're here, girls, she said, landing lightly on Kirsty's shoulder. I need your help. 